Have you ever wondered where the hair you wear really comes from? If you wear wigs, then you know there's a stark contrast between the price that is charged by different vendors. I decided to find out what are the main factors that contribute to such drastic variations in their price point. RPG Hair was kind enough to give me a behind the scenes look into their hair business, which they've recently branched out to open a US office. In this video, we'll take a deeper look into how they manufacture their units, as well as visit their US office and maybe try a few wigs on, if we're lucky. This is their warehouse in China where they employ 50 people and their wigs are manufactured. They mainly sell Indian hair that is collected from factories and the sorting that you saw in the beginning of this video is how they divide the hair into different lengths and grades. When the hair comes to the factory, it needs to be processed first and sterilized. They tie the hair to the cap the same way as most factories, but a skilled worker needs 25 to 30 days to tie a regular full lace wig. The bulk of their business comes from selling Remy hair, not to be confused with virgin hair. If you don't know the difference, don't worry, we'll get to that a little later on in this video. They position themselves in the market as a provider of affordable quality hair, and this is the process of how they manufacture their wigs. As you can see in the video, this is how they cut the hair and style the unit. These are the rods used to determine the different curl patterns. They have wavy, curly, and kinky to name a few. Since it's 100% human hair, there may be a few strands of hair in other colors like white and gray. After all of the processing is complete, they wash the hair again with shampoo and conditioner so that the hair smells good out of the box. And although this may look like a scene from the movie Saw, this is the room used to steam dry their hair. Once that's all done, they put the wigs on the mannequin, cut some baby hair, and double check the quality one last time. If everything looks good, it's packed up and sent to their office in China. Once there, they perform another round of quality control. They measure the length of the hair again from root to tip along with the cap size. Now the wigs are ready to be put in storage. All of the hot selling items are shipped to the US office to ensure they have a good amount of supply on hand. Back in LA, I decided to take a drive to their office in Irvine to see the office for myself. 
So today I'm visiting the RPG Hair office in California. Now I'm gonna give you a behind the scenes on how they run their business in the U.S. office. So come with me. Hi, Hi. Welcome. Hi. Hi. Asia, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Tina. Tina. Hi, yeah. Tina. Hi. So what are we gonna do today? Ah, uh, we will show you how we work in our U.S. office. So let's go ahead and take a look. Here is our warehouse. Ah. Yeah, okay. you can visit. Okay, I guess I was expecting something bigger. I guess that goes to show you don't need a big space to run a successful business. Yeah, these are some popular hairstyles on our website. I, no, we pick some of them here. Okay. Yeah, for people to receive them sooner. Okay, so storing it in the U.S. makes it quicker for you to get it out to the customer. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We can ship it out the same day. For example, if people place the order this morning, we can ship it out this afternoon. Oh, okay, same day shipping, that's excellent. So why did you guys set up a company in the U.S.? Uh, because we'd like to offer people a better customer service. Uh, because in the um, U.S.A. Uh, it's daytime, it's night, night at, uh, in China. Okay, so it allows you guys to respond in real time when customers have questions? Yeah, we can answer the phone calls, chatting online, or reply emails in daytime. Okay, yeah. so how do you ship from the U.S.? Uh, we ship by USPS, that is post office, mm -hmm. and uh, it uh, takes about two to three business days for people to receive it after order. Okay, perfect, because sometimes we need our hair in a crunch. Yeah. <laughs> do you guys offer free shipping? Yeah, we do free shipping for any order. Oh, all orders, regardless of the price? Yeah. Perfect. Okay, you guys know I actually got this wig from RPG Hair. You guys seem to love it. I'm going to actually show you some of the popular hairstyles and maybe try a couple on. Let's go ahead. Do you mind explaining the difference between the different types of hair? Because I know there's virgin hair, there's Remy hair. What is really the difference? Yeah, for the Indian Remy hair, it has been processed. Okay. Yeah, the hair is very affordable. Okay, yeah, most of affordable. our hair is in the Remy hair. Okay. Yeah, for the Brazilian hair, it is uh, cut directly for the donor. From the donor. Yeah, it hasn't been processed before. Okay. And the hair quality is higher. The cuticle is intact. The okay. The cuticle is intact. The cuticle is intact. So that makes the hair have less tangling, right? Yeah, yeah. It's tangle free. It's tangle free. Yeah. Okay. So just to recap, the Remy hair has been processed and it's a lot more affordable, but the Brazilian virgin, the hairline is intact and hasn't been processed. So is the origin for Brazilian hair Brazilian or is it really Indian? Um, Cause I know Indians cut their hair for religious purposes. I've never heard of Brazilians cutting their hair. Where do you guys get Brazilian hair from? Brazilian is just a name. It's okay. not cut from the Brazilian people. Okay. No, it's not. Yeah, it's just a name. That means because in the hair market, uh -huh. people use Brazilian virgin hair. That means uh, higher quality. So Brazilian virgin hair just means higher quality. Yeah. Okay, perfect. But what's the real origin of the hair? Is it Chinese, Indian, Asian hair? Like, what's the real origin of the hair? We import them from India. Okay, so the origin of the hair is really Indian hair. They just use different names so that you can understand the quality. Because you said that the virgin hair lasts a little bit longer, correct? Yeah, yeah. About six months to one year. Maybe with good care, a good good care, it can last an even longer time. Okay, and that's yeah. the Brazilian um, virgin. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay, here. Yeah. Okay, so the Remy hair is three to six months. If you want your hair to last a little longer, you're probably gonna look for Brazilian virgin hair instead. So what type of hair do you normally carry? Uh, most of our hair is Indian Remy hair. Okay, Indian Remy. And that's why you're able to keep such low cost and your hair is a little bit more affordable. Yeah. But in turn, it's, you're gonna pay less, but you gotta also remember that the lifespan is gonna be a little lower. It's the trade-off you're gonna get for a low cost. Do you mind tell me about the new arrivals? Yeah, the new arrivals, this one is a uh, bob. It comes with whole front bleached. Yeah, the, the knots on this hair looks pretty good. Okay, um, and this is part of your new lineup. And what about this one? Uh, this is our one of the best seller, BCT04. Okay. Yeah, this is also 180 density, but uh, this one is 14 inches. Okay. This, this one is 80 inches. And what about this one? And uh, this is also a new arrival. This is an over hair. 
a color three in the blonde. Ombre. Okay, I'm really feeling this one. I think I want to try this one on. And this one? Uh, this is another uh, Obro wig, but this is 360 wig. 360. You can wear oh, Okay, so it's a 360 ombre. Okay. Yeah. And the parting is deeper. Okay, and it has deeper parting. Okay, we love deeper parting because it gives a more natural look. Uh, this one is Brazilian wearing hair, and the hair texture is water wave. This is one of the most popular Brazilian wedding hair on our website. Okay, yeah. perfect. I like this. And what about this? Uh, this one is yaki hair. Most of customers prefer this hair texture, yaki because it uh, looks more realistic. Yaki hair, you guys know, mimics African-American hair texture a little bit more. So it's gonna give you more of a natural look. This one looks really good. It looks like it comes pre-plucked hairline. Yeah, this is pre-plucked okay. and also whole front bleach. The whole fronts are bleached. Okay, perfect. That means it's less work for you. And is this virgin or Remy? Indian Remy hair. Indian Remy. Okay, yeah. so that means it's gonna be affordable. I can't be around all these wigs and I try them on. Do you mind if I try on a few? Sure. Okay, perfect. Okay, so which wig am I gonna try on first? Can I try this one on first? Yeah, no problem. This is over a list from me. Okay guys, good thing I didn't glue this down. Your luck is? Hmm, you know blonde always has me not sure if I like it or not. Sometimes blonde has to grow on me. What do you guys think? It's such a pretty color though. The hair feels really soft. Have you ever wear the blonde hair before? Yes, I have, but it takes some getting used to. <laughs> <laughs> and this is in how many inches? Uh, 12 okay. inches. This is 12 inches, okay. This is pretty long. Perfect, and I love the ombre on the um, roots. It was done nicely. So what do you guys think? Okay, let's try it next one. Can I try this one on? Yeah. Uh, this is also a new arrival, and uh, this is over. Okay, so this is a 360. I haven't tried a 360 in a while. And 360s you could wear on a ponytail. Oh, I like this color. I'm not sure if I like it on me. <laughs> but it is a pretty color. Hmm. Next, the credit book. Oh, I like this one. This is cute. And this is the most popular one, you said? Yeah. Um, and this is a 360 as well? No, this is a lace front. This is just a lace front, okay. It's whole front bleach. And this comes home front bleach. Yeah. This is 14 She's cute. inches. 14 inches? Yeah. Okay. I like this one. Next one? I'll try the yaki. You know I gotta try the yaki. <laughs> Oh, and this is a 360, okay. Yeah, yeah, this is a 360 week. Okay, so most of your wigs comes in the medium size. And what's the medium size, do you know? Yeah, the medium is 22.5 inches. It's, oh, so 22.5 inches. So if you have a big head, you might not be able to wear these wigs. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. <laughs> But luckily for most of you guys, it, you will fall under that category. I feel like I have a big forehead, but my head size is considered average. The only way you're really gonna know is when you wanna make sure that you measure your head and the circumference of your head size, because that will ensure that you get the right size wig and that it actually fits you. You don't wanna buy a wig and it ends up being too small. It's okay if it's big because you can always add an elastic band to adjust the cap size. Okay, so this one comes pre-plucked with the whole front bleached. Mm -hmm. I know you guys like Yaki. This one is pretty too. I'm undecided. Which one I like the best? Yeah, which one you like the best? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's between this one mm -hmm. and, the, the, curly and one? the curly one. I like the curly one too. Um, yeah. This one is really pretty, and it's a nice density. What's the density on this one? This is 180 density. This is 180 density, so it's not gonna be thin. Yeah, but we also offer 150, 130 density for this hair. So I'm gonna take this one home. Stay tuned. Click the thumbnail on your screen to watch my detailed review of this beautiful Yaki unit. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out. Uh, thanks, Ariel, for visiting RPD here, USA office. 
and we hope to receive your order soon. Okay, bye bye. bye, -bye.